Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing? In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Blue Bomber Slushy G Fuel Can inspired by Mega Man. I have the can in my hands, as you can tell already. I'm excited to try out this can. I've seen a lot of good reviews of this can, a, a lot of positivity on this can. Hopefully, in this video, I bring out a good review and a good opinion on this can because, not gonna lie with you, powder form was honestly not the best i wouldn't say awful but not the best i didn't really get too much flavor in there it tasted pretty bland it was supposed to be a blue raspberry vanilla didn't turn out any of that it was plain it wasn't too good or too bad but it was pretty disappointing like cherry vanilla the tiny tina wonderlands was honestly better than this one and it was like a cherry vanilla and this one's a blue raspberry vanilla i wish they went something similar like tiny tina's instead of going way off the grid or something because the can for tiny tina and the powder form was straight up good i really enjoyed it for this one the mega man blue bomber slushy powder form disappointing hopefully the can doesn't disappoint me hopefully this tastes better than the powder form i'm quite excited to try this out I'm not gonna lie i've seen a lot of positivity on this hopefully i give you guys a two thumbs up at the end of the video but enough of the chit chat let me give you guys a look at this beautiful can that i have in my possession right there we have mega man blue bomber slush in the bottom mega man right there mega man right there with his blast ready to <laughs> we have the G Fuel logo right there and the Gamma logo right behind Mega Man the G Fuel logo, yellow color. Love that. Well detailed with a nice color of baby blue around the whole can, as you can tell already. Nutrition facts right there. And we have the G Fuel right there with the benefits energy focus, endurance reaction, 000. zero, zero. 300 milligrams of caffeine. I like how the way they change it up for the side as well. We have a red color up here outline with everything performance energy zero sugar and etc in the bottom nothing much in the bottom we have here what's that barcode with gfield.com can come the game company stuff in the bottom as well we have the little face right there amazing color scheme amazing design and the feeling of the can really upgrading the cans love the can love the design beautiful color scheme and extraordinary game that it's representing childhood game right here I remember I used to play like one or two of the games back then I haven't played any of the new ones or anything I used the character for Super Smash as well very gold he's very golden but let me open this up nice ay, ay, ay. let's give this a smell mmm smells more appealing it smells very nice you get the blue raspberry. That's pretty much what I get. Blue raspberry. I don't get the vanilla. Hmm. Interesting. Hopefully, hopefully this can doesn't disappoint me. I'm hoping for it. Just grab a sip. Cheers. This is way better. This is way better. Mm hmm. You can taste more of the blue raspberry and the vanilla. The vanilla, I'll say it's a bit plain as well in this can, but you can taste a bit more. Like it brings out more of the mixture with the blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. It's not bad overall, it's not bad. Yeah, I get a bit more of the blue raspberry as I mentioned. It has an amazing texture, pops out nicely with the vanilla, a little vanilla that's in there. But like overall, when you get in the aftertaste, it tastes pretty plain. But it does bring out a nice mixture, a nice texture. It doesn't be, it's not too plain, plain like the powder form where you can barely taste it, just blue raspberry, but like barely. It has it pops out way more. It's way more in here, and the carbonation brings it out nicely as well. It doesn't like destroys it or doesn't makes it more bland or nothing. It's actually honestly perfect. Yeah, 
a nice vanilla blue raspberry combo. Yep, good chunk of blue raspberry, like a 60, 70 percent, and 30 to 40 percent of the vanilla. Not bad. Honestly, I would say this can was a bit overhyped. I will say this can was a bit overhyped, but that's just in my opinion, because it doesn't taste like super amazing like the Tiny Tina's Wonderland, the um, cherry vanilla. That was honestly good and perfect. And that can wasn't really overhyped. This can was way more overhyped, and it doesn't taste like the best, but it doesn't taste the worst either. It tastes pretty in between. It tastes pretty good, like decent. But I honestly agree, this is better than the powder form. Powder form doesn't really taste the best, but this one tastes a bit better than that. I can get more of the flavor. Mm -hmm. More of the texture as well. But honestly, it's pretty good to decent. Pretty good to decent. Still prefer Tiny Tina. That one is really straight up busting. Cherry with the vanilla. Mm, I like how they went with this combination too, but the way it just they made the way they made it, it's just the disappointing part. Like the cherry vanilla, they perfected it. This they really went out with it. I don't know if it was the company's choice or G Fuel or how they made it, but it's not the best. It does kind of taste like a slushy. I can feel that slushy part too, but it was a bit overhyped in my opinion. A bit overhyped. Honestly, I prefer this than the powder form for sure, but it was a bit overhyped. If I had to rate it and give it a number, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not the best either. But I, I expected, to be honest, I expected to give it a lower rating, but honestly, I'll give it 8 out of 10. It's reasonable. It's better than powder. And what I give it? One, two thumbs up. I gave it one thumbs up. One. Then took my two thumbs up. Took one. And 8 out of 10. Not a bad can. Hopefully, hopefully late in the future we see like other flavors with vanilla. Like say example, maybe um, like say um, that was was a good example. Like orange and no, we already seen that orange vibe. Um, what's the other like strawberry shortcake? Like strawberry vanilla. If they ever do that, like example, hopefully they perfect it way better than then blue um, blue bomber slushy hopefully they will perfect it the way orange vibe is or um tiny tina's like those are good cans this one is a decent but not a bad can i i quite enjoy it reasonable mm -hmm. nice feeling as well but that's pretty much i have in today's video guys thank you guys for watching i catch y'all in the next one my friends peace out